Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, May 25th, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be on strengthening. Isaiah 45, verses 5 through 6. I am Jehovah. There is no other God. I will strengthen you and send you out to victory, even though you don't know me. And all the world from east to west will know there is no other God. I am Jehovah, and there is no one else. I alone am God. Ezekiel 13, verse 5. O evil prophets, what have you ever done to strengthen the walls of Israel against her enemies? by strengthening Israel in the Lord. Daniel 2, verse 43. This mixture of iron with clay also shows that those kingdoms will try to strengthen themselves by forming alliances with each other through intermarriage of their rulers. But this will not succeed, for iron and clay don't mix. Zechariah, Zechariah 10 verse 6 I will strengthen Judah yes and Israel too I will reestablish them because I love them it will be as though I had never cast them all away for I the Lord their God will hear their cries Matthew 5 verse 37 Say just a simple yes, I will, or I won't. Your word is enough to, str to strengthen your promise with a vow that shows that something is wrong. Revelations 3, verse 2. Now wake up, strengthen what little remains, for even what is left is at the point of death. Your deeds are far from right in the sight of God. Now here's what I get. I know that Samson would ask God to strengthen him, to give him that strength back so he could kill the Philistines for taking his eyes. We know that God fought many battles by strengthening the Israelites so that the world would know him. The prophets during the time of Ezekiel were disobedient and didn't strengthen the walls of Israel from their enemies. God strengthened Judah and Israel to prepare the way for the Lord. We need to be strong and make our yes mean yes and no mean no against evil. Don't give up, for God will strengthen you until death. Once you think about this today, have a blessed day.